Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the first ever Virtual Insurance Institute Convocation. My name is Jason Forglo. I'm the Kawartha Durham Chapter Chair, and I'll be the host for today. We're here to celebrate achievement and have fun. We encourage you to participate in our live chat and congratulate the graduate in your life. Join the conversation on social media using hashtag IICGrad2020. Now let's please note the national sponsors for this event. Gold sponsors are Economical Insurance, RSA, and Travelers Canada. Silver sponsor is Aon. Bronze sponsors are Marsh Canada and Wawanisa Mutual Insurance. Let's please also note the wonderful local sponsors for this event. Our gold sponsor is HTM Insurance. And our award sponsors are Bryson and Associates Insurance Brokers, OIAA, Kawartha Durham Chapter, and the Commonwealth Mutual Insurance Group. I wanna thank you all for being here to help celebrate the achievements of our graduates in these unprecedented times. This is a very special day indeed, a day that has been long awaited and is well deserved. Those long hours of study, the hard work, the time away from family, from friends, and the many other sacrifices are what have brought you here today. It's true, the harder you work for something, the greater you'll feel when you achieve it. By achieving the general insurance essentials, risk management certificate, commercial insurance certificate, chartered insurance professional, advanced chartered insurance professional, and fellow chartered insurance professional designations, you have now officially expanded your circle of opportunity. The future is in your hands and beneath your feet supporting you is your education. And while hangups in life may happen, know that with the accumulated knowledge you have obtained through your designation, and more importantly, the support system you now have behind you, you have the tools and support to carry on. The Conference Board of Canada provided a report speaking to the value of your designations. Your designation increases customer trust, puts you ahead of the competition in the recruitment processes, increases the quality of service you can provide, and a note to employers in the room, your designations puts you in a higher wage earning bracket than your peers without that designation. Your local, in, uh, your local institute chapter is here to help both students and graduates to achieve success through knowledge-filled seminars, courses, and events. Kawartha Durham chapter is your chapter. You, as its members, especially graduates, guide our chapter. As graduates, display your designation proudly. Your designations are not just a symbol of achievement, but a call to action. Give back to our industry in the same way others have to you. Reach out to the Institute on the various ways you can get involved, such as being a Career Connections Ambassador for our industry, helping CIP students with their assignments, instructing a CIP course, attend seminars and networking events, or come out to a board meeting. Please visit our website to discover these opportunities and more. In order to have more, you need to become more. Continue making yourself a professional by the skills and disciplines you have acquired, the character and reputation you have established, the language and speech you use. All this refinement will make you more attractive to the marketplace. We applaud your determination. You have shown that you have what it takes to accomplish ambitious goals and you have our deepest admiration and respect on these wonderful achievements. Congratulations. 
and now our graduating class of 2019-2020. Access to live chat as graduate names are recognized on the screen during the procession. Send your congratulations and cheer for your grunt. The first group we would like to recognize today are those that completed the General Insurance Essentials two course certificate program. Kajima. Kimberly Ellis from Impact Insurance. Now for our second group of grads today, we would like to welcome our newest risk management certificate program graduate. Kyle Brill from James Insurance. Amaria Lewis from Unica Insurance. Uh, Tashana Swabi Scott from Arthur J. Gallagher, Canada Limited. We are now moving on to our newest commercial insurance certificate graduate. Barbara Dinnett from HPM Insurance. Now the next group of graduates we'd like to recognize today have completed their Chartered Insurance Professional designation. The first graduate is Sharon Boley from First Durham Insurance and Financial. Richard Barnzall from MGB Claims Consultant Link. Jared Delamere from Whitley Insurance and Financial Services. Alina Brasgal from Economical Insurance. Paul Brown from TD Insurance. Anthony Callahan from McDougal Insurance. Shauna Campbell from Allen Insurance. Lauren Terry from Intact Insurance. Fabian Dehaney from Intact Insurance. Matthew Dottie from Whitney Insurance and Financial Services. Ashwin Fernandez from Zurich Insurance Company. Tiffany Gibbs from HTM Insurance. Emily Gorenson from Northbridge General Insurance Corp. Ethan Henry from The Cooperators. Lisa Hendrickson from Bryson & Associates Insurance Brokers. Daniel Giron from Intact Insurance. Kevin Kane from Intact Insurance. Mir Khan. Jamie Lang from Aviva Canada. Stephanie Lavoy from Whitley Insurance and Financial Services. Nock Chang Ray from Ann Frederick's Underwriting Management. Stephanie LaFlay. Nathan Lovec from Impact Insurance. Samantha Padley from Marsh Canada. Stephanie McEllern from Bethel Insurance Brokers, Monica Moretto from Aviva Canada, David O'Leary from CDI, Annika Patel from Intact Insurance, David Ray from Petrala Winter & Associates, Renee Reeves from Intact Insurance, Tika Robert from Wawanisa Mutual Insurance Company. Jason Saussier from Crawford & Company Canada, Inc. Robert Sylvester from Sovereign General Insurance Company. Samantha Tilly. 
Connor Wall from Intact Insurance, Amanda Willett from Intact Insurance, And up next, we'd like to recognize our advanced chartered insurance professional graduates. Chrissy Sharan, Thomas from FM Global. Lena Hayes from Marsh Canada Limited. And last but not certainly least, we would like to recognize our fellow chartered insurance professional graduate, Lisa Howcroft, Intact Insurance. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, please join me in recognizing our 2019-2020 graduates. It's now my pleasure to share some pre-recorded congratulatory messages from Joe Colby, President of Insurance Institute of Ontario, Peter Holman, President and CEO of the Insurance Institute of Canada, Martin Thomas, Chair of the Board of Governors of the Insurance Institute of Canada, as well as a few other industry leaders. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. It is my pleasure to congratulate our new graduates on their terrific achievements. I wish I could be there in person to meet with you, our newest professionals, but I am impressed and proud of your achievements all the same. It is a reality that every year our industry changes and presents us with new challenges. We see extreme weather or cyber attacks or pandemics, for example. As the world around us constantly evolves, our industry must respond to these changes. But it's not enough for us to simply keep up. We must maintain our position at the forefront of these developments so we can provide consumers with the best advice, the most innovative products, and the highest quality service they have come to expect. In the midst of this constant change, there's one thing that never changes. Leaders, like our graduates, will always command respect. As leaders in the insurance field, you will be sought out to provide advice and guidance and use your professional and technical skills to ensure a positive customer experience whether you are dealing with automobile accidents, natural disasters, or game-changing technology. We know that it's not easy in the best of times to go back to school while maintaining a demanding job, being there for your family, and staying on top of all your other responsibilities. Then suddenly COVID-19 threw another big challenge into the mix. But you demonstrated resilience and rose to the occasion. You should feel especially proud of your achievement given today's realities. In this ever more complicated environment, we need qualified, knowledgeable professionals who are able to use the critical thinking skills developed through demanding and thought-provoking programs like the CIP and FCIP. Your CIP or FCIP provides validation that you are a professional, that you're experienced, educated and ethical, and that you are qualified to help people through their insurance experiences. Now that you've accomplished this level, I invite you to carry on your tradition of excellence, look to the future and continue raising the bar. When you need a new challenge, the Institute will be there for you. Whether you're looking to take the advanced CIP, tackling the fellowship program, or even stepping up to teach a course yourself. And we encourage you to become active members of the CIP Society. Stay connected with your fellow professionals and become involved with the Institute and the industry. With your designations in hand, I hope you will always continue to be committed and passionate in what you do. Nothing less than your best effort will suffice. Passionate people get things done. They energize people and build enthusiasm in their communities around them. On behalf of the Board of Governors of the Insurance Institute of Ontario, it is my very real pleasure to extend our congratulations. We applaud your determination and you have my deepest admiration and respect on this wonderful achievement. Well done and thank you. Hello everyone, I'm delighted to be with you. Pandemics, recessions, world conflicts, and times when it's business as usual. Through all of these, insurance has been there, and so too, since 1899, has the Insurance Institute. Our education and programs and delivery methods looked a lot different back then, 
But like today, most people complete their insurance education as working adults. This is never easy with so many competing interests. Family responsibilities, often with young children to care for and sometimes other family members as well. Full work calendars, frequently with major weather events increasing workloads significantly. Completing a challenging institute program at the same time requires determination, personal sacrifice, and a lot of hard work. Some of our graduates this year finished their studies in December 2019 and missed the excitement of COVID interrupting their education plans. Others had to work with us while we shifted everything online in response to the pandemic. If you wrote exams in the spring and summer, you had to go virtual with us on that aspect of your studies as well. Yet another new experience for you. These are both great examples of the versatility and adaptability of Institute graduate skills that nicely complement the technical insurance knowledge you gain through your studies. But regardless of whether you had to confront the changes brought about by the virus, I know each one of you has your own story of the challenges you faced to earn your institute designation and the obstacles you had to overcome on your education journey, which, on average, if you are completing your CIP, takes three to five years, a meaningful commitment by any measure, very well done. I would also like to take this opportunity to thank your support network who helped you through these challenges over the years family, friends, and colleagues who were there for you during those stressful times. I also say thank you to employers who in normal times provide financial support for your education and the Institute. During this pandemic, many employers also made exceptions to the corporate policies to allow employees to continue their courses uninterrupted. So a special thank you to them for continuing to be a key part of the education process even during these most unusual times. And while I really would prefer to be there with you in person, I sincerely congratulate virtually our newest designated professionals and completers of our designation programs. You have worked long and hard and sacrificed a great deal to arrive at this point. These accomplishments and your new knowledge will serve you well in this great industry and the career that lies ahead for you. Congratulations and bon chance. Hello ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to our Virtual Institute Convocation. I want to thank you all for being here to help celebrate the achievements of our graduates. Participating in convocation ceremonies is one of the parts of my role as Chair of the Insurance Institute that I was most looking forward to. But COVID-19 has changed the way we do just about everything. And since in-person convocations had to be cancelled, I'm pleased we are able to celebrate you all in this way. I feel proud and fortunate to have this opportunity to celebrate with our new graduates. You are our future and you possess the right attributes to build and lead our industry in these times of significant change and opportunity. You all share many important traits. You are dedicated, professional, ethical and hardworking members of the property and casualty insurance community. You care about your clients, your employers and your careers. Another common trait you all share is resilience. The resilience to continue your insurance education and grow even during these difficult times. And that is a trait that will serve you well in all aspects of your insurance career. We are all very fortunate to be part of this wonderful industry that does so much to protect and support communities from coast to coast. We deliver peace of mind to the people and businesses of Canada and in the unfortunate circumstance of a devastating loss, we are there to help them get back on their feet as quickly as possible. When Canadians are facing some of the worst experiences in their lives, they turn to insurance professionals who know how to help them. And who better prepared to help people than those who have earned their insurance qualification? Completing these programmes is not easy. It requires a great deal of personal sacrifice and commitment but they are an essential part of building a successful career. You are now a member of a highly distinguished group of qualified people in our industry. However, the CIP, ACIP and FCIP designations come with a responsibility that you will represent our industry with the values 
and ethics that will ensure Canadians continue to look to us during their most vulnerable times. With increasingly complex policies, lifestyles and weather patterns, and yes, even pandemics, your role as an insurance professional will not be an easy one. But thanks in part to the hard work you've invested, you will be well prepared to meet the rising demands and challenges that lie ahead. Graduates, you have earned the right to be exceptionally proud of your new qualification. These are wonderful accomplishments and I am so honoured to share this special occasion with you. On behalf of the Board of Governors of the Insurance Institute of Canada, it is my very real pleasure to extend our congratulations. We look forward to seeing great things from all of you. Thank you. Hi everyone, uh, I dressed up a bit today because I think it's a great day to, uh, to celebrate and congratulate all of you uh, that have been going through the hard courses of, uh, of, to, to get your CIP designation. Uh, it's great to have some uh, well-educated people, well-trained people in our fantastic uh, industry, uh, an industry that is there to help people. So, uh, so guys, congratulations to all the graduates. Uh, and specifically, congratulations to all the intact graduates. Very proud uh, of you, uh, of all the work you're making and how seriously you take your development and your career. So on that, uh, have a good 2021 uh, and uh, hope to see you very soon. Thank you. Bye-bye. Hello, everyone. My name is Kevin Daniel. I'm the Chief Client Officer with The Cooperators. I want to take this opportunity to offer my congratulations to all the graduates on your achievement. I know it takes a significant amount of dedication and hard work, and you should all be very proud of your accomplishment. Your commitment to continuous learning and building your expertise in our industry is so important to building confidence with Canadians that they will be well served by the insurance industry. I wish you all continued success in your careers, and again, congratulations. Congratulations, graduates, and a big shout out too to the family and friends who supported you on this journey. This accomplishment shows not only your dedication to this great industry, but to your professional and personal development. Display those letters behind your name with pride. You've earned it. Lifelong learning and a healthy dose of curiosity will serve you well. I wish you much success in wherever your career takes you. Congratulations, graduates. I can't believe we don't get to recognize your achievements in person this year. Today, you get to join a select group. Those that through their commitment and dedication to continued education have obtained designations that are gonna open doors for you for your entire careers. It's your day, you've worked hard and you've earned it. Have fun. Congratulations again. Hello, I'm Tom Reichman, Chief Distribution Officer for Economical Insurance Company. On behalf of Economical, I'd like to congratulate all of this year's graduates and award winners. As a long-term member of the Governing Council of the Insurance Institute of Ontario, I recognize the incredible work and dedication that it takes to complete these courses, and I just want to say how proud I am of all of you. Congratulations again. Hi guys, I just wanted to say congratulations on an epic achievement. You know, we all know it's really difficult to do your day jobs and do all the studying for the CIP designation. So it's brilliant that you achieved that. And across this industry, we need fantastic, talented, engaged people like you, people who are gonna take the initiative, people who are gonna inform themselves more just to make this company better and stronger going forward. So thank you so, so much. Um, I'm always looking for an excuse to celebrate and have a drink over something. So I hope that we can use this as an excuse like that um, at some point in the future. But in the meantime, thank you so much. Well done getting to this and getting your designation. Oh, inspiring words from some of uh, Canadian insurance company top leaders. Um, in almost every group of people, there are a handful that are prepared to 
put in that extra effort, work just a little harder and challenge themselves to go above and beyond. These are the students who have distinguished themselves as the top academic achievers in our chapter. The prizes to be awarded today are made available by financial donors in the Kawartha Durham chapter. The Institute wishes to acknowledge these donors with gratitude for their support of professionalism. The first award is presented to the top CIP student currently working towards their CIP designation. The winning student received the highest marks in a CIP course within the 2019-2020 academic year. This year, the award is sponsored by Bryson and Associates Insurance Brokers Limited. The winner is Alexa Moore. The next award to be presented this afternoon is the top CIP graduate in the Kawartha Durham chapter. It is awarded to the graduate with the highest overall marks in all of their CIP courses. This award is sponsored by the Commonwealth Mutual Insurance Group. The winner is David O'Leary. And now the next award to be presented this afternoon is the Top Student in Claims Professional Series Award presented to the student in our chapter with the highest marks in the 2019-2020 academic year in any of the claims professional series courses. And this award is sponsored by the OIAA Kawartha Durham chapter. The winner is Jamie Lane. Our next award to be presented this afternoon is the top FCIP graduate in the Kawartha Durham chapter. Presented to the graduate in our chapter with the highest overall marks in all of their FCIP courses. This award is also sponsored by the OIAA Kawartha Durham chapter. And the winner is Lisa Howcroft. And today we also have a provincial award as well as a national award winner in our chapter. Very exciting. The provincial award is top CIP graduate, second runner up. The national award is the CIP bronze prize, second runner up. The winner of both awards is David O'Leary. And in closing, I'd like to thank everyone for joining us today. On behalf of everyone at the Institute, we extend our sincere thanks for showing your support to our graduates and award winners this afternoon. Now I'd like to share a quote from a speech Denzel Washington made to the graduating class of 2011 from Penn State University. He links risk of failure with success in finding your path in life. Seeing as risk is such a large part of the insurance business, I felt it appropriate to echo his words here. He said, I found that nothing in life is worthwhile unless you take risks. Fall forward. Every failed experiment is one step closer to success. You have got to take risks. You will fail at some point in your life. Accept it. You will lose. You will embarrass yourself. You will suck at something. There is no doubt about it. Never be discouraged. Never look back. Give everything you have got. And when you fall throughout life, fall forward. Graduates, you have worked long and hard to earn the industry's top qualification. Be proud of your achievements. Congratulations to all. My final recognition today goes out to the next two groups of people. Thank you to our wonderful Kawartha Durham instructors who have all had to become virtual instructors at the flip of a switch because of the pandemic. Great job, folks. And this amazing group listed here are the members of the Kawartha Durham Chapter Council who volunteer their time to fill 
uh, to fill our chapter with education and networking events. Let's cross our fingers we can get back to in-person networking soon. I know most of Council is online today watching this broadcast. Hey everyone. Our first ever virtual convocation has come to an end. So have a great day, great weekend, and with that, goodbye.